Hi guys, um, I have never recorded an audio like this before, so I apologise if it sucks. And I have never edited anything like this before either, so here it is, Bought by a Vampire by Waterway the Wordsmith. You sit in the corner of a cold, dark cell, a bed of straw your only comfort. You were picked up by slavers weeks ago and ferried from place to place, given nothing but water and table scraps to sustain yourself. The darkness has sharpened your hearing, and you perk up when you hear an unfamiliar yet gentle voice. Your stomach turns in a knot. This is it. Today you're likely going to finally leave this cell. But will you be trading one prison for another? Ah, you certainly didn't laugh. This is a healthy looking specimen, to be sure. Very well then, here's your payment. Hello there. I'm sure you're frightened being locked up in chains like this for so long. Don't worry, I'm going to take you far away from this awful place. There, there, just take it slow. There's no rush. You can lean on me if you aren't ready to walk on your own just yet. That's it, this way, dear. There is a carriage waiting for us. You're doing very well. Just watch your step getting in. There we are. Go ahead and lay back. Do you need anything? I imagine you probably haven't eaten properly lately. I have some chilled wine in here, and some nice fresh fruit. Of course, dear. Just be careful not to spill. The road is a little bumpy at times. I hope it helps the soreness, at least a little bit. Now, time for introductions. My name is Adriana. What's yours? Well, it's lovely to meet you. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up with the slave trade? Oh dear, what terrible luck. It always saddens me to hear stories like that. Well, things will be looking up for you from now on, don't you worry. Oh my, I'm afraid I may have given you the wrong idea. I wouldn't say that I necessarily saved you. At least, not in the sense that I plan on letting you go. I bought you. To be honest, you were quite expensive. Though I'm sure you're well worth the price. Shh, none of that. Now. Although I do understand how you must feel, to be honest, I abhor slave trading. I really do. I can't imagine how twisted a person has to be in order to make a career out of it. And yet, I quite literally cannot live without them. Well, it really is quite simple, dear. I'm a vampire. Did you not notice the fangs? Well, it is night time, I suppose. But yes, I'm more or less what you're imagining. Undead, drinking blood, that whole bit. But what you probably don't realise is there are quite a few vampires who don't enjoy bringing harm to others. In fact, there are enough of us for a whole city, which is where we are right now. So, rather than sulk about at night draining people dry, we worked out a system. Having such a long life means you can amass quite a bit of wealth, and we use that to buy slaves who would otherwise go after who knows where. Rather than live a life of pain and toil, you'll be able to live comfortably with me in my mansion. All I ask in return is a small amount of blood every so often. Hush now. It's really not as bad as you think. I have quite a few rescued slaves. I call them my dear ones. The point of all this is to spread my feedings across many different people. Each night, I have three or four of my dear ones on duty for feeding. I take a safe amount of blood from each of them. After that, I won't feed on them until it's their turn again. That way, they have time to replenish their blood. See, dear, I'm very careful about it. All the vampires here are. We care about you and we want to make sure you're safe. Why you slaves? Well, it's true that I'd much rather take in willing participants. But there's such a stigma surrounding vampires, so hardly anyone ever volunteers. Which is a shame because it's quite a generous offer, I'd say. Aside from the feedings, the only thing you need to do is take some shifts helping with chores, 
or just as decoration. I like to have some of my dear ones just dress up in cute outfits and sit around the mansion for me to look at. Aside from that, I... Oh dear, are you crying, dear? Are you afraid? Shh, it's alright. I know that it's a lot to take in. Your old life is over and that's a very hard to accept. I felt scared too when I became a vampire. I was drained in my sleep, so I didn't even understand what was happening at first. I just woke up to a figure leaping out of my bedroom window. I felt cold. So, so cold. And immediately, I was thirsty for blood. It was an awful experience, and by the time I figured out what had happened, I knew I didn't want that to happen to anyone else. That's why I do this, you see. I know it might seem like I stole your old life from you, but I swear I would never hurt you. I'm saving you from a much worse fate. I promise you that as long as you live under my roof, I'll care for you and keep you safe. I'm your owner now, and I take that responsibility very seriously. You're still scared, aren't you? Oh, poor thing. I wish there was something I could say to make you feel at ease. Although, perhaps there is something I can do instead. If you would be willing to hear me out, perhaps we could do a small feeding right now. Shh, please don't panic. This is just an option, dear. You must give me some of your blood eventually. I know it sounds frightening, but it's nowhere near as bad as I'm sure you're imagining. Keep in mind, I slept through being completely drained. Well, mostly drained. To be turned, you only have to lose enough blood to die. <sighs> Sorry, not helping. The point is, it's not actually painful. I hear it's a bit uncomfortable if you're not used to it, but it can also be very relaxing. It would help calm your nerves, and you wouldn't have to spend days worrying about it once you realise how easy it is. I don't want to pressure you into a decision, but I really think it would be the best choice. To just get it over with. Oh, you'll do it? I'm so glad to hear that. Wait just one minute. We're almost there. Best not to do this while we're moving, of course. Driver, stop right here outside the gates, would you? Thank you, dear. Okay. Are you ready? Come over and sit next to me. Good. Take a nice, deep breath. Let me just get a look at your neck. Oh yes, I know it's dark. For you at least. Don't worry. Vampires have terrific night vision. I can see you perfectly. Good. You have a nice spot that's just perfect to bite into. This will be easier for you than most. Go ahead and lean your head back a bit. And to the left. There. Okay. Very good. There we are. See? That wasn't so bad after all, was it? Oh, <laughs> here. I keep some gauze in the carriage for moments like this. Press it to the bite marks. Don't worry, the bleeding will stop very soon. Driver, take us to the main entrance, if you would. Yes, that's all. Well, usually feedings go on for much longer, but I already have a group of dear ones ready to take their turn tonight. Like I said, I just wanted you to see how easy it is. What do you think? Hmm, just alright. No need to hide your true feelings, dear. I can tell you enjoyed it. <laughs> you're blushing. See, I knew it. Oh, you're so darling. I'm going to love dressing you up. We can talk about it later, but I'd love to show you off my next party. 
The vampires in this city love to get together and show off their humans. Sometimes, but only if you're all right with it. I might let them taste you as well. Don't worry. That's not something you need to think about tonight. Tonight, and for the near future, you can just relax. I'm afraid you'll have to share a bedroom, but my dear ones are all very kind. I'm sure you'll all get along famously. You're free to wander the mansion grounds. I especially recommend the gardens. They're just lovely. After that, we'll work you into the schedule. You'll only really have to take shifts with Jaws a couple times a week. Same for decoration duty. Your first real feeding session likely won't be for a couple weeks at least. Come along now. Let's go inside. Yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's your home now, just as much as it is mine. Now, I need to take care of some business, but Gloria... Gloria, over here, darling. Gloria will show you to your new living quarters. You can get a proper bath and some soft new clothes. Welcome home, my dear one. <laughs>